What's cracking, truth soldiers? Your guy Ben back with some scalding hot tea that's going to have you doing double takes and triple axles all over. This juicy new report about Princess Pinocchio hitting up none other than the Chris Jenner to save her pathetically flatlining brand. That's right, after spending years trying to manifest some deluded elitist sense of stardom among Hollywood aristocracy. It looks like Harry's hotboxed half finally realised that the only heat rocks in the industry actually emanates from the festering landfill known as the Kardashian trash can. Because according to multiple insiders, Meghan has spent the past year practically grovelling and scraping at Kris Jenner's freshly moisturised feet just for a chance to claw some of that lucrative fame dust off the soggy ring piece bottom of the family's zealous circus. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on, I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Make sure to hit the subscribe button now. And don't forget to press the all-important bell icon. So, I know I can hardly believe I'm uttering these words myself. This is the same neurotically narcissistic black hole of a woman who once smugly turned her surgically whittled nose up at the mere idea of associating with Mama Jenna's cud cluster of overcooked beef hoagies and diarrhea rattle me monsters. Lest we forget the now rich hearted Royal Report from just a few years back where the Duchess of Delusion spitefully sneered, Meghan wants to assemble an alias squad that shares the same values and improves the world. Not just a bunch of skid marks constantly polluting television with their recycled sex tapes and bikini shoots. Oh, how the tables have turned, comic velocity. What was once a fleeting opportunity for the old Becky Brigade to bask in the aura of Sussex struggle royalty has now morphed into a desperate pathos-drenched ploy by Meghan to mooch off whatever microscopic specks of pop cultural relevance that Chris has her bimbos still possess. This talk about hitting absolute rock bottom. I haven't witnessed a fall from delusional grace like this and well-deserved since Trisha Paytas swapped her premium OnlyFans password for a $15 Wingstop gift card. This is the kind of collision course with destiny that leads theories commonly referred to as the ultimate finality of karmically self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, I'm sure Meg didn't even realize that this would be her searing Waterloo when she first started buttering up Chris for the sweet synthetic soup con of brand sustenance. In fact, I bet Megan's crisis started off as a well-meaning vapid plan. A sort of how the other half desperate hustles curiosity tip. Let's bring the new raw reality show concept to a few of Chris's spray tanned hussies for a quick guest spot, she thought. Just cross. Branding synergy for maybe sell a few more grubby Archwell tote bags finally. But then reality hits this Royal roller coaster harder than a seven megaton pipe bomb stuff with Botox and a double standard hypocrisy. Because once those gnarled claws of Calabasas cronyism finally found purchase in Montecito, there was absolutely no shooting them away before mission accomplished. Chris was already sniffing dollar sign silhouettes, just whipping up some fleeting cross promotion action with her latest multi-generational host family. So even as the vain Duchess started barely feigning reluctance, Chris stayed on the full court press to permanently wedge the Sussexes kidnappers into her cult. It's just Harry out to planing with Corey on the bunny slopes. The next Kim is already poking a hornet's nest, leaning on Kate's personal trauma for some bargain basement insta-whoring mongering. So what will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell. But until next time, we'll see you again for more raw news and analysis. Bye for now.